a lot of intensive care specialists are actually anesthetists to begin with. And then one of the most common and most important skill which you pick up as an anesthetist and then as continue as an intensive care specialist is how to intubate. And there is often a challenge in intubating patients in intensive care as compared to doing it in the operation room. And why is that? To begin with, ICU patients actually are very, very sick. They have a compromised physiology. Often they have very low levels of oxygen. They may have low blood pressure. They may be actually having multi-organ failure as well. So to get them into an optimum position, it becomes a big challenge. More often than not, they want to be sitting up. The more often than not, they might be agitated and confused. And you will not get enough time to do a prep for intubating these patients. It could often be a very short prep time before you would want to actually go ahead and secure the airway for the safety of the patient. The second challenge comes in using drugs. Drugs which you would normally use safely during your anesthesia induction actually would have disastrous hemodynamic consequences in these patients who have very minimal reserves. So you need to choose your drugs correctly. Third and most important thing, if you pre-oxygenate a patient in the operating room, you would get a few minutes up your sleeve to actually intubate the patient calmly and secure the airway. Whereas these patients, despite prolonged periods of pre-oxygenation, have shown that within seconds they desaturate and they give you only a fraction of a second or a fraction of a minute to actually intubate these patients. Hence, the biggest difference between ICU intubations and theater intubations is the ICU intubation should be done by the best available person who is in that room. That means the senior most experienced person. Second, the choice of drugs should be very, very clear. You may not have enough time to do a good preparation. And fourth and most important thing, the patient will not give you an optimal position to intubate. So you will have to give them some sedation. That means compromise their natural responses of breathing as well as your blood pressure control and then get, to get them into a reasonable position to intubate. So guys, never take a ICU intubation easy. Every intubation in intensive care is difficult one and every intubation brings its own challenges. Thank you.